So that's pretty cool, right? Of course, I gotta carry my trusty Pelican case with me. I'm gonna scout this area right here, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't, I don't see a lot of bait. Adjust the trolling motor. So it doesn't hit the grass in the bottom. I'm pretty shallow. I don't see a lot of bait at all. I don't see a lot of bait, but it could be the point where they're not very active. Going into the wind, I don't like it. I usually like to work with the wind, so the trolling motor will work a lot less. But, hey. I don't have an option because this is an idle zone. So either idle up there or use the trolling motor. So don't want to break the law. I've gotten a ticket before, that's 75 bucks. It's probably more now for running the, the manatee zone in Florida. Today, I still got the same lure tied on as the other day, which is the little tiny top water I've been using. I don't, the, the water's not that clear here. So unless they push up, it's going to be very tough for me to actually see what I'm uh, casting at. So I'm pretty much blind casting the whole time. So I like top water. That way, when they do miss or strike at it, I know there's fish here. If I use a jig or something, if I don't get a hit or they miss, I'm probably not gonna uh, get any intel from that information. So I like to throw top water first, get some information. I just saw some jump right over there. Good sign. Let's see what happened. I don't know how this whole setup is gonna last. But we shall see. Always good to have a remote control trolling motor with you when you're doing these things. Looking around for pushes. Pushes around here either means mullet or redfish. And if it goes really fast, it's probably jacks. Or if it's really gigantic, more than likely that is a porpoise. Overcast skies, don't see a lot of a lot of anything. I use my polarized glass to see a little bit better, but the water is discolored. So it's kind of, the water's discolored and the sun is not that high. Essentially searching right now. Something that makes a little bit of noise. Out here, I'm more than likely to get trout or redfish here. If I get a little closer, I'm more likely to get snook. Water's flowing out from what it looks like anyways. What I'm doing now is uh, working the lure and pausing it for like half a second or so. If the fish is gonna strike, it's gonna strike pretty much at that pause. So you gotta give it pause to make it look like a wounded bait. I'm trying to explain as much detail as possible. That way you guys get the content of this. Most of you guys already know, but hey, this is helping for people that don't. I'm using a, a uh, spinning rod today because I'm throwing these tiny baits as far as I can. The further I can cast with this, the more water I cover. No, it doesn't have as much accuracy and torque as a bait caster, but it's going to be very tough to throw a tiny lure like this against the wind far away. And as you can see, that's not when you're fishing a flat, there's not a lot of structure and stuff to force the fish out of, so you don't need the torque, necessarily. You can let them run and play the fish out. Very light tackle, 10 to 15 pound test line, braid, preferably. I'm still looking, I do not see a lot of action out here. It's about nine o'clock or so. 
there should be action. See this slick part here? I should push some fish around. I see some mullet. It'll get to the point where I will actually, if they get spooky. For those of you that think Florida fishing is like simple and easy, and you've never been here before, you have another thing coming. Out of all the places I fish, Florida, especially the, the highly pressured area, especially Tampa, because we're surrounded by access. So pretty much it gets, these fish gets hammered on a daily basis. So they get pretty intelligent. Some bait moving right here. I'm hoping. Hitting. Am I hitting bottom? Man, it's shallow today. Yeah, I'm definitely hitting bottom now, which is not good. Which is not good. Let me trim the motor up. Make sure I'm not dragging bottom here and making all kinds of noise. There's some, some, some bait moving right there. See that? Definitely bait moving right there. I don't know if it's bait or fish. I'm not sure. It's shallow. So any big fish is going to be out here. They're not going to be in the super skinny part. Especially during the day. That's definitely bait. It's not game fish that I can tell. I don't see any tails. It's about a foot here. It's starting to look like fish though. If you look at there, I don't see any jumps, so that might, it's, it's a possibility that they are fish. I'm not 100%, however. Oh. Those are redfish, guys. There we go. Redfish, baby. Redfish. Oh, that's a good redfish. Oh, that's a good redfish. They're still right there, too. See how I shut my trolling motor off? I shut my trolling motor off because we're in like one foot of water. I use a top water lure to avoid the grass, head shake. Still right there. I'm gonna stay down, cause these redfish see me, it's over. I wanna catch more than one for you guys. They're right behind me. They're right behind me. Not around me. They don't even, they're not spooked. They don't think this one fish is hooked. Stay on there. I'm using a very light lure, guys. Light lure, light line, stealthy presentation, 20 pound, 20 pound test. I'm 20 pound test leader. 10 to 15 pound test. This is a mustad wish braid. Very slick, very strong. It probably over tests, but it's very thin and casts pretty far. Unless you go, oh, that's it right there. I see him. 
Very beautiful golden redfish. Underneath the boat it goes. If the fish go underneath the boat, put your rod tip down. That is the key. Oh, there it is right there. Ah. Going for my trolling motor. Just the fish. I would be very quiet. I don't have my bogey grip. All I've got is one tackle box with me and this rod. That's it. This guy is spunky for summertime redfish. Oh, he inhaled it. He inhaled it. I don't like that. We need to get this lure out. I don't want him to die. Do not grab the tip, folks. Just a redfish. If you high stick it, the rod will break. I'm still being very, very quiet, as you can see. As you can see, that's a good redfish, right? That's a good redfish. Stealthy presentation, that's probably about 25 inch redfish. I know. Let me try to get this thing out. I don't want to waste what's I always carry some small pliers with me. In case they don't know the time We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays.